everybody. This is April Stutzman. We got another episode here for you of Glory Stories. I'm so excited to be interviewing this special guest today to talk about the glory of God, some of the first times they experienced the presence of God, how they cultivated the presence of God, and different stories that impacted their life, whether it was transformation into glory, miracles that happened, and I want you to be a part of what this guest has to say, how they have experienced the heart of God in his presence so that you, my friend, can enjoy their story and see how you too can experience the glory and the presence of God in your everyday life. So I'd like to welcome my special guest that I'm interviewing. Hey everybody, I just wanted to get on here and just share and I'm so excited to see that what the Lord wanted me to, to talk about tonight and, and just to bring Prophetess Madeline on tonight. I'm just uh, can't wait to, to share. Let me add a real quick process of adding, right? Just a few minutes early. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline, we're so excited to have you tonight. And, and excited share, to be on here. Yeah, just to share. We um, we're both wired a lot alike, so it's kind of easy just to, to honor mm -hmm. each other's and diversity and just mm -hmm. being to uh, talk about the glory. Ooh. Amen. <laughs> I love I love the glory. <laughs> yeah, man, who doesn't, right? Just right, give amen. It. Give a minute for a few people to log in. We'll start in a few minutes. I know we're, we're a few minutes early, but um, I just know this is a desire, deep desire that you and I both share. Is who doesn't want mm -hmm. more of God's glory and who is seeking more of God's glory and just practicing Amen. that. And what we're going to get into tonight. I see a few people mm -hmm. log in. For some reason, I can't see the comments. So if you're commenting, I don't know why. <laughs> Book is always changing things. Commenting. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, uh, we're just we're just excited to talk about the the access. What it takes mm -hmm. to access the glory, and um, I just got a new appreciation for the glory when we were speaking. It was mm -hmm. just, um, impact to my spirit, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. So. Um, can't see it in the comments, so we'll just go and get started tonight. And, um, I can't see them either. <laughs> dive in. Yeah, it's really weird. Have any questions? We'll just have to, to look afterwards and maybe just answer them later. Um, but the reason I asked Madeline, uh, talked with Madeline to get on here tonight is because um, I was talking to her, and we both felt like something of the Father's heart is wanting people to understand how quick and easy it is to access the glory, wouldn't you agree, Madeline? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, or I think we have this thing in the body where we feel like it's just for um, the apostle, the prophet, you know, the fivefold, those in leadership. But really, um, you know, when Jesus died, he, you know, the veil was torn. And so we have uh, full access, but, you know, we don't really realize how much access we have. Okay. And a lot of times, you know, we stay in the outer courts. We don't go in that inner and then into the throne. And, you know, God wants his people to know that you don't have to stay on the outer courts. I didn't die for you just to stay on those outer courts. You know, I died so that we could have that place of intimacy so that you can stand in my glory because we're all called to be glory carriers, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> one of the reasons we wanted to, to talk about this tonight because I love interviewing people and, and asking them about when everybody has their first experience in the glory, whether it's with God alone or whether it's at a conference or like Benny Hinn or like everybody You're right. where it impacted them before they learned to dig their own well and kind of get in the glory with the Lord. So I was just going to ask you, where was your first experience with the glory? Was it at home? Was it at a conference? Um, I would say I've kind of had, you know, here and there, I, I've grown up in church. I've been blessed to grow up in places of revival and experiencing, uh, you know, certain measures of glory. But really, um, this past October, I went to California 
to Jennifer Ives. She had a conference, Sears and Profits, and Charlie Champ was there, and Jeff Jansen. And I just saw a display of the glory that I had just not really ever seen before. And it just got me super hungry for more of that. So I said, God, you know, I want that, you know, in my life, you know, in my ministry. And it was just effortless. And really, um, and so, and, you know, my apostle also walks in that highly as well. But I wanted it for myself. Amen. You know, I saw them and it just, you know, produced a hunger. That's, you know, our heart tonight. I hope that it will produce a hunger in you to begin to search after those things. So after that conference, um, I bought like, I don't know, 20 books, 25 <laughs> books, everything I could find on glory. And I just have, you know, been reading through all these books. I've been experiencing different measures. I've had even, um, I read, uh, was it Jesse and Amy Shamp's uh, book on miracles in the glory, and I had two dreams, just impartations, you know, these, these books are impartations, if you can't go there physically, you know, because, uh, you know, to, to walk in the glory is going to cost something, you know, you have to, um, and, you know, Catherine Coleman, she said, you know, it'll cost you everything, yeah. Holy Spirit, you know, to really walk in all that God has, and, and to walk in the level that you see, um, those that you admire, you know, it didn't come easy. And so, you, you know, you have to build your own well, like April was talking about. And so I just began, you know, of course, you know, through the Bible and just reading, um, you know, books and other people's accounts. And, uh, and Ruth Heflin, you know, she's the glory lady as well. And I just began to have dreams and impartations and just, you know, beginning to step out in my own, my own way and God okay. meeting me. Some people mm -hmm. say that sideways and I don't normally switch it, but if I can see the comments, I don't want to switch it because I agree with okay. you. I just want to see if, uh, if we can see anybody's comments, but they're still not coming in. So who knows what Facebook right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. The, the word the Holy Spirit kept giving me before we did this was access. And mm -hmm. that's what we're, we're talking about here is, is you went mm -hmm. to that same conference with you. It was awesome. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the glory of God, the presence of God just filled the place. And we've seen the team. Right. You know, teeth growing, uh, gold teeth, getting people, just signs and wonders, getting put in people's yeah. mouth. And, and just mm -hmm. uh, what made you learn to just appreciate the glory versus like a healing gift or mm -hmm. um, a gift? Like, I know that mm -hmm. they're not simultaneously, but what did you, what made you more hungry for the glory? Um, I think I'm not, I don't know. I've just, it, I was just fascinated, you know, with it and just like, wow. Cause you know, I had, and it's so important, you know, as Christians, believers, no matter how long you, you know, you've been serving the Lord, it's so important that we don't lose our wonder, you know, for the Lord and for his presence. And, and that's it. And I was just so fast. I was just captivated by, um, what was happening in the presence. And even, um, you know, Jennifer Ives is a mentor of ours and, and mine and, um, and just watching her kind of step out in these things, you know, Jeff and Charlie kind of walked in these things a little bit more in some areas. Yeah. And so just even watching her step in, just, you know, releasing that faith to, um, but I was just really captivated by God's, and that's what God's presence does, you know, he puts yeah. that, you know, you'll taste, taste and see that I'm good and he'll give you that taste for the more, you know. <laughs> So it's really, <laughs> I thought I was getting that. Uh, you were already hitting it. It's all about intimacy. It's about right before the word and just having that conversation. Mm -hmm. That's where true transformation right. takes place, right? It's, it's just getting right. God's then So many right. times, as you, as you know, as well as I, just from talking to different people and interviewing different people, you know, they said, I went to Benny Hinn and fell out and got whacked. <sighs> And then, you know, I had to fill it again. I didn't know how to access the glory. So I went to this conference, mm -hmm. conference and that's one of the reasons we wanted to do this. So what would you say to a mm -hmm. who's like tasted the glory and they, they don't not know how to, to dig mm -hmm. the well, they don't know how to continually, mm -hmm. what's some tips that you could give? I would definitely start, you know, just spending that time with the Lord and you don't have to chase after conference. I mean, conferences yeah. are great. I Amen. think um, they help catapult you into that place, but really it's sustaining, um, you know, that place, you know, in your life. I would say, um, you know, setting that time aside, whether it's, yep. you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, find um, some worship music, some prophetic, you know, worship music. And even if, you know, whatever it is that you want to study on, you know, find scriptures on the glory and just begin to, to meditate. You know, that one scripture um, recently that's really been hitting me is Second Corinthians 
uh, three sixteen in the Passion. It says. But the moment one turns to the Lord with an open heart, the veil is lifted and they see. Amen. And it's, and it's really that simple. It is. <laughs> it's, we, simple. It's, exactly. it's really, it's the posture of our heart. You know, yeah. it's not, it's not in our head. It's not the, you know, we're just, God, I'm here. I'm positioned. I want to, you know, just cry out, God, I want to taste your glory. I want to see your glory. All these other people are, are talking about the glory. I don't even know what that means. You know, and, and the glory is God's presence. It's who he is. Who he is. It's the atmosphere of heaven. Amen. It's the atmosphere. Everything is possible. There's no impossibility um, when we get, you know, in the glory. And so I would just, you know, set, set aside that time because, you know, with any relationship, you have to cultivate intimacy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and like Moses, you know, it's that face-to-face time. And as you, you know, it's what you, you become, what you behold. And so in the glory, it's beholding him. It's That's seeing his face. They, they, they talk about the glory and, the, and they want the glory and they want the glory. But at the end of the day, yes, we want the glory. But like you said, it's just about being with the father. Right. You know, it's mm-hmm. just about just seeking, just Lord, I want to know you. I want to love what you love. I want to hate what you hate, you know, right. and, and the glory is just like overflow. You know, mm-hmm. just like, you know, anytime you, you spend time with somebody or a best friend or like, you know, you'll, you know, even smell like them, you know, and talk like them and, and take, you know, on the mannerisms. So just anytime you spend, you know, a certain amount of time with somebody, you're going to begin to take on some of who they are. Yeah. So one of the small mm-hmm. things maybe is possibly like get up 15 minutes early. I'm just trying to give the practical people yes. 15 mm-hmm. minutes early. You know, I would make a little bit of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know this is funny and you could probably relate to this when I was in Africa and and we were going through the town of of Kenya doing street ministry. Um, You know, the atmosphere is just different than in America. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord was me and my husband, we tag team together. You know that. Mm -hmm. One of the things the Lord was showing me about the glory is to just worship him as I went through the town. Mm-hmm. It was so funny because I thought of my favorite hymn, and I just mm-hmm. gave glory to the street ministry. And, and you know, we saw miracles and, and signs and wonders and healings and evangelism. Mm-hmm. It all took place, but it was just by that simple assignment that God said, "Just worship me as you mm-hmm. go down." It just broke the atmosphere. So, a little bit about how you've seen atmosphere shift. Just as God shows up, just as His presence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially, you know, in church settings or even, uh, you know, when you're battling a lot of warfare, I always, um, you know, tell my team in worship team, let's get to that high praise because it's the high praise that opens up the heavens, even if, you know, singing a hymn or it's really, you know, coming into unity in your heart, you know, whether you're by yourself with the Lord or in a group of people, it's one heart, you know, one mind, one accord. And when, you know, we lift up Jesus, you know, he's exalted and then he sits on our praise. He becomes enthroned. And so, you know, the throne of, of God is established wherever we're at. And so that has to displace, you know, whatever atmosphere doesn't, isn't like heaven. Amen. And, and mm-hmm. that both of us try to practice the lifestyle of just sitting before the Lord. But mm-hmm. don't think over time that as as you just become more intimate with the Father, it just comes natural. Mm-hmm. And I, so I mm-hmm. just encourage the people that, that maybe they went somewhere and experienced the glory, or maybe they're still trying to understand, you know, mm-hmm. and I just want all, all different um, maturity levels to understand too. You know, Ezekiel 44.4 talks about the glory of God filling the temple. You know? yeah. mm-hmm. And Corinthians 316 says, don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple? So we are God's temple. That's a, mm-hmm. You can speak anything into that you want to, Madeline, but people forget we're the temple. You right. Know? No, we, we carry his, his presence. Mm-hmm. His presence, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we just have to remember, you know, the, the presence isn't in the ark anymore, but Amen. we're the ark, you know, we're the ark in, in the sense, you know, because we carry and we have to cultivate that and we have to, you know, be careful who, who we allow um, you know, into our lives and who, what we listen to, what we watch, all that, all that stuff. You know, we want to keep the purity in our yeah. life. And also, um, you know, praying in the spirit helps as well, just building up your spirit, man. And because, um, you know, in Corinthians, it talks about when we pray in the spirit, that we're praying the mysteries and we're praying the wisdom of God. 
and you know, and we're we're getting revelation, and God will bring the understanding of what we're praying. And so, praying in the Spirit is another great way to 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 stir up that glory. Amen. I know <laughs> it was so fun when I was kind of new to access the glory, and I went to a, a revival in Canada, um, Hamilton, with Todd Bentley. It was just a really high level of glory, and I used to go on my couch and just listen to my earphones and, and just play worship music all night, and I would just mm -hmm. wake up in the portal of glory, and I was like. You know, then I, I learned real quick, hey, man, wow, I'm just so, <laughs> so refreshed in the glory. I feel so rested. Amen. Mm -hmm. so it's funny how you, you learn little tidbits as you go and mm -hmm. you your relationship with God that, that the power of worship. Right. Because, you know, worship is what we're going to do in heaven. So we're just getting <laughs> getting practice, you know, and really worship for prophets and prophetic people. This is maybe kind of going somewhere else, but you no know, prophets are, you know, care, you know, we are um, the thermometers, you know, John Eckert said recently thermometer of the glory. And, um, you know, we live and eat and breathe the glory, you know, worship his presence. And so to really walk in that prophetic and, and to be a prophet, you know, and to be a prophetic person, we have to make sure that we stay oily, that we don't stay dry. Amen. You know? That reminds mm -hmm. me of Catherine Pullman. You know, it's also mm -hmm. cultivating the Holy Spirit, which he's never talked about. That's another thing that mm -hmm. bothers me. <sighs> he's a gentleman. He's not going to force the glory and the presence on you. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's kind of like an invitation? Like it is. I mean, I know at times, you know, he, but when he comes, though, sometimes it can be a fierceness. You know, his glory is, yeah. is all those things. There's, that, you know, that balance. Lord, all the good stuff. <laughs> yes <laughs> but yeah he's you know he's always um there's always the invitation for more but it's what you know what you're hungry for and what you want to settle because you know god doesn't want us just to have the revelation of his feet or his legs or his hand mm -hmm. he wants us to see his whole his whole being his whole face you know ruth uh Heflin talks about in her glory book about you know do you know what his cheekbones look like do you know his nose his eye you know just knowing <laughs> all those intricate as a lover, you know, really about being that lover of God. Mm -hmm. And how you can just access the glory as you're washing dishes. Right. And you, access you don't have to be super spiritual doing it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to, to have any, you know, go to some extreme country or, or go to some extreme, you know, pay thousands of dollars mm -hmm. to go to friends that Jesus Christ died to give us the free access. Right, you know? right. And Christ, he paid for that. That's a huge price. Right. You know, to be daughters and sons of God. You know, that's what right. the word calls us. So it's it, to access. You just have to be a daughter and a son. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no special <laughs> title. Yeah. 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 And uh, like you said, I've experienced impartations and dreams of mm -hmm. different glory carriers and mm -hmm. um, read different glory books. I think um, if you're if you're trying to grow in the glory and, and you're cultivating it, like like Madeline was saying, The Quiet Time. But, like, I agree mm -hmm. with you. Ruth Heflin's books, I love her book, mm -hmm. Glory. Um, Jennifer Arbez has the new book, mm -hmm. Glory. I mean, there's so many mm -hmm. uh, books that you can, that touches on the glory. Mm -hmm. jo like, Joshua like, Mills has a good book, too, yeah, Living yeah. in the Glory. Yeah, I got that one, too. And, and, and that really um, allows you to get more language and more understanding. Don't you think it's mm -hmm. like a, a period of a time that God takes you from glory to glory, the glory, like the word says, mm -hmm. so it wasn't yep. as quick as you wanted it to be, you know, so, sometimes it seems quick. And then, you know, uh, Joshua, I, t I took a couple notes, but you know, his main thing in his book is moving from realms of faith um, to anointing and then to glory. And for all of us, God's given us a certain measure of, and really, you know, stepping out in the glory is just faith Amen. little by little just putting it out there and so um but yeah there's sometimes you hit that wall and but you can either stay there or get frustrated or, or allow your frustration to propel you to more um because really i've been cultivating this in my own life and also i pastor a church and so in, in april has been there but we've been cultivating this well and it's finally you know there's a port there's open heaven you know over the house but it took quite a while to really and even as I began to move you know into this as well um, but we're having healings and and you know miracles and glory dust and feathers and you know all kinds of stuff 
Amen. Yeah, but that's just the, that's just the surface, you know. Amen. It's just the surface mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is there, you know, and He's moving. I was, right. laughing, you know, as you shared about the faith and the glory, I was mm -hmm. laughing because me and my husband got the opportunity to speak in mm -hmm. Kenya. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I the story when you said that I was going to press into the glory realm, you know, I, we're just going to do it, you know, mm -hmm. the atmospheric miracles, and as soon as I started pressing into the glory realm, we had one atmospheric miracle, and then my husband just jumped straight towards the knowledge and gift. I was laughing, because mm -hmm. like, that's his strongest gift, so we're still learning to flow together, but it's funny, right. like you said, you, you just learn to follow the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you watch even even well known ministers they grow right. in glory and intimacy that they mm -hmm. care for. right yeah I would say um, my apostle he's really he does really well with atmospheres I and mean, he is super gifted in, in words of knowledge and all that kind of stuff but he really stewards atmospheres and that's where God wants to get us because you know we move from that faith realm to the anointing but the anointing is still coming out of us. And we have to be careful that we don't, you know, deplete us. You know, it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Yeah. But, you know, it's the glory realm where everything is possible. You know, that's where life and that's where resurrection power and Amen. all that kind of stuff. And so you don't have to do anything when the glory gets there. That's you just allow, you just allow God, you know, Amen. and you partner with heaven. You don't have to make it work, you know, make it happen. Amen. I'm always picking on my husband. I said, I'd rather do anything in the glory. I don't care. Right. It's easy. There's an ease to it. <laughs> It's refreshing. It's just supernatural mm -hmm. strength. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, I, I've noticed, or when you've anointed, um, when you've ministered out of your anointing, uh, depending on how much is being pulled out of you, you pour out. You know, you can feel yeah. pretty wasted, pretty depleted. Um, yeah. But you know, yeah. God wants us to to graduate. He wants us to go in that. Because you know, as as the harvest, you know, as as things grow and get bigger, um, we're going to need the glory because we can't do it just out of our anointing, you know. Yeah, who wants to do I mean, I know people have done it, like William Branham, and, and just mm -hmm. literally paid till everybody till he about passed out, you know. Mm -hmm. that, Gotta man, use wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> the work mm -hmm. that he took and the compassion and mercy that he carried. Sure. You know, it's mm -hmm. very valid, but there's, you know, God's like the access to glory here, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the glory, it's one moment, you know, God can, you know, that angel or the glory, you know, the Lord can release that word there, you know, instead of one man trying to <laughs> minister to thousands, you know, but. Amen. And I, mm -hmm. I just love to when, when you know, when, when God's presence shows up, anything's mm -hmm. possible. And you know, right. that's what the barrier is, and, and that's what I know you, mm -hmm. you about the glory as well as well as I. I've seen deliverance in the glory. Where, yeah, nobody touching nobody. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I was at your place and, and we broke generational curses, you know, mm -hmm. when God, it just kept releasing the glory, I could feel the leaving the room, like the emotional start, the emotional world right. being squeezed out of the room. And that's mm -hmm. the heart of the Father, you know? Right. Deliverance to be easy, you know? Right, amen. He, he, yeah. I mean, Yes, it's painful sometimes and inner healing, and, and we all need that right. kind of stuff. But isn't it nice to do it in the glory? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like that. You don't have to wrestle like or that. fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the demon, you, you know. You have to go, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Amen. So just just talk about, even as, as you minister in the glory and you're cultivating more and more at your church, mm -hmm. um, how, how easier is it getting for you to just flow um, with what the whole, like you said, the Holy Spirit tells you to do this, boom, you just step out. Mm -hmm. you here each Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, it can be kind of a little radical. <laughs> so you gotta be, you gotta be open. But uh, I've really been teaching, you know, my body just kind of about Holy Spirit and just really, um, you know, we know a lot about, and that's kind of like Jennifer Ives's but you know, glory carries, but, you know, we know about Jesus. Hey, Jennifer Rogers, love you. And Kimberly, everybody coming on. Um, you know, we know about the Father, we know about Jesus, but we really don't know as much about, you know, Holy Spirit. And so I've just kind of been telling, you know, uh, for God to really be able to, um, you know, sit in our lives or, or the glory, yeah. we need to build a, have a grid for it. And so just kind of like building that structure, building that grid, you know, the Bible says, you know, precept upon precept, you know, line upon line. 
And so we really need to build um, a foundation um, so that when a squirrel comes, it can catch it, you know, so to speak, and we can pin it up, you know, in our lives. So just kind of getting that language and the flow of the Holy Spirit. And I actually had a dream a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, I've been on this pursuit of the glory. And so I had this dream. I was uh, ministering in a service. And I've had other dreams where I've spotted the glory cloud, the Shekinah glory, um, which is the glory of God. And then the Kabod, you know, the heavy, the weighty glory. Um, but in this uh, dream, it was it was the Kaba, it was the weighty glory, and you could just see there's like this glow, and there's this um, just this cloud on the people. And I was laying hands on people, and they were falling out and getting healed, whatever it is that they needed. The Lord was doing yeah. there, and there was such an ease to it. And um, I woke up, I could still feel the power of that dream. Yeah. And I woke up, I looked in the mirror, I had all this glory <laughs> dust all over me. Amen. And so that atmosphere, because you know the spirit realm is real. It's more real than the natural. And so that realm came into my natural. And that's really what, you know, the glory is coming into to our natural. And so I just began to, um, I found the glory in that. <laughs> and so just, you know, telling my train. And so uh, I think that was a day or two. I had um, Bible study. And hey, and so, um, but that night I was telling about this dream. And then like angels started showing up because, you know, angels are attracted to the glory. Amen. And everybody, then like glory does fell on everybody because, you know, it breaks the religious spirit. Amen. Too. And so God was just <laughs> confirming the word, you know, upon my, upon my life and what I had um, experienced. But as you begin to experience, you know, everywhere you go, because, you know, in a sense, you are a portal and you Amen. carry, you know, that to places. And so you are an atmosphere. And so Amen. whatever you're carrying is going to get in another atmosphere. But just, you know, just giving them the language, you know, going through the Bible, giving them that foundation, um, you know, just Bible 101. So yeah, yeah. It's foundation. kind of like you're getting in a little quantum physics without getting it. Yeah, know? sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's true. It's so true. You yeah. Know, I want to keep it. Uh, I'm still know, learning more about that, too. <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody has a different um, take on quantum yeah. physics, and I appreciate it, you know. And, and you know, I know people mm -hmm. that walk very high in their understanding of that. But, it, you mm -hmm. know, I've watched it. Um, you know, I've prayed mm -hmm. for somebody, you know, that had a screw, and it was gone. Right. God evaporated it. I mean, that's quantum physics. That's the atmosphere of heaven, you know. Right. Feel it. It was at a small group, you know, I posted a video mm -hmm. testimony. She was shocked. And it was all right. in the presence of God. Right. You know, he can mm -hmm. change anything. He can grow out an right. arm. You know, he can change, you mm -hmm. know, whatever the... the physical healing is that right. he, that people need and, and maybe we'll do some of that before we, we go off to here maybe we'll just call out mm -hmm. a, the knowledge um, mm -hmm. just to be healed in the glory but um, you mm -hmm. want to talk about any specific maybe healings or miracles just to, to stir up the faith a little bit that you've seen in the glory and then maybe we'll pray some mm -hmm. yeah a couple um, weeks ago in our church, um, the Lord just began to broke out, break out, and I could tell this is going to be one of those services. I need to be, you know, I need to flow. I need to be flexible, yeah. you know, with what yeah. the Lord's doing. And um, I was like, "Does anybody need healing?" <laughs> and we had a we had a visitor, and um, I could tell she was kind of like, "I'm not sure about this. I've kind of been in this, but I could tell she was kind of I don't know about what's going on here." But um. <laughs> Right. Not, not in that measure. And so, um, and so I just asked who needed healing and she needed healing in her back. And, um, I just, you know, I've been a part of healings and you know, I've been around healing culture, but this has been a season of just stepping out in faith and, you know, doing it. And so I was like, and she said her back hurt, her neck hurt. And the Lord just said, you know, put her arm straight up. And so I said, let me see if you're in alignment, you know, or not. And so one arm was shorter um, than the other. I said, okay, well, everybody, let's pray. Let's okay. demonstrate. <laughs> and so, um, so I put her arms up, and one was significantly shorter. And said, you know, in the name of Jesus, arm grow. And it was just like that. And her arm, like, literally shot out of my hand. It just, everybody was like, <gasps> you know. it was. And for her, like, that demonstration, I knew that caught her heart. You know, Amen. then I began to build the faith um, in the room. There's legs, and I began to allow other people that got healed. Okay, now it's your turn to demonstrate. It's not just about me. You know, it's for everybody. It's for the body. Cool. So yeah, leg, that's... legs grew out. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, stomachs, headaches, all all that. Yeah. There are nine healings. Mm -hmm. That's what um happened. At, uh, one of uh our 
relatives brought a friend over to get prayed for. And before I could lay hands on her, I was just calling out. She's like, they were testing us. They're like, tell me what's wrong with me. I was just laughing because these are young, you know, teenage girls. And so I just mm-hmm. gave her a word of knowledge and I, I prayed for her. And like you said, before I even got my hands on her, she felt things moving. You know, she right. felt her hips shifting. She felt her, her legs shifting. And mm-hmm. then it's like, hey, this is Jesus. It's all the credit. <laughs> Right. Then, right. They, Amen. They, they, they take their eyes off you. You know what I'm saying? And it's right. about God. Mm-hmm. And God touched me. God right. loved me. Touched me tonight. And right. You know, that's what I love about the glory too. It gives no man credit. Right. You know, mm-hmm. no man take credit, and God right. gets glory, which is how it's supposed to be. Any, you know, period. Um, right. Amen. Two things the Lord is asking me to touch on while we're still on here before we pray for people is um, I've had impartation dreams on the glory. And I know both you and I are high seers. We have dream after Mm -hmm. dream every night. So I feel like we're supposed to just impart that to maybe Mm -hmm. people that Mm -hmm. dream tonight. But the Lord wanted Mm -hmm. me to touch on honor. The Holy Spirit just Mm -hmm. brought up honor. How much do you think that, that the culture of honor influences like how much glory is released in the atmosphere you can talk about that or unity or both i think it's all the above <laughs> i think yeah. they're um connected because the more um that you honor a prophet apostle honor um you know from the guard those who really carry you know it pulls on their anointing you know it pulls on when you know it's it's that um that scripture says you know when you can receive a prophet in the name of a prophet you get the prophet's reward. And so really just honoring, because uh, when you honor somebody, you can step into the measure, um, you know, that they have. You can step into the measure and experience. You can kind of um, bypass the process that they went to to get into. Amen. And then now that can that can be your measure, you know. Yeah. And so honor, honor is key. Um, and honor will accelerate your growth when you can honor those who are, um, you know, a, a little bit, uh, uh, you know, ahead of you or, or those uh, fathers and mothers, you know, in the faith, when you um, have honor, it, there's a release that comes to you. And of course, unity. Mm-hmm. And just, Do you want to touch just, on that? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to really touch honor because I feel, like, I feel I'm really breathing on honor this season. I, don't, I just, Amen. I think, you know, I've seen, you know, like you said, you honor a prophet. You get a prophet's reward. Well, you can't get impartation and then go talk bad about the prophet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like, where's the because prophet prophets know. I mean, I talked about. I was on a, a live last week, and um, it's true. You know, there's many um, in this hour they honor the prophet because of um, the word, but your heart is far from that uh, honor. You know, posture. And so I really truly believe that the Lord is really going to, it's just a purification, a purifying, you know, God's not going to allow that to happen anymore um, because he's restored. It's, it's a lack of the fear of the Lord in the body is, is what it is to not Amen. honor um, the, the office and what prophets carry. And so God is going to, you know, make his mark, not, not to be mean, <laughs> but just, right. to, you know, there's such a lack of fear and that we need to honor the word of the Lord again and of course not just prophesy just for the sake of prophesying um, yeah. but when we can honor the prop you know because anytime a prophet speaks and you can sow into it you know money or so time or just so you know relationship whatever it is that you can sow into yeah. you know it's a it's an immediate return you know, a true prophet you'll you'll see an immediate return amen uh, mm-hmm. yeah I want to get into that a little bit because you know people don't understand you need to sow a seed and, and, mm-hmm. and like you said, when you honor the prophet, I know you and I both have sowed into many um, glory anointing mm-hmm. and carry, but isn't there such a value that you say, you know, I value and honor what you carry? I mean, that's, to me, it should mm-hmm. be a no brainer. <laughs> right. So, right. You know, mm-hmm. it's, Cause it, it's almost like I'll, I'll begin to feel convicted if I'm, you know, really growing and pouring from somebody and Lord's like, Amen. you need to sow into that. Okay, Lord, you know, what is it you want me to sow or how can I sow, you know? Um, but yeah, it pulls because you want to honor um, their gifting because the more that you honor, you know, the more access that you'll get to that. And they can tell in the spirit, you know, they, you know, the Lord shows them, you know, whether how close you are, depending on the relationship. But, but yeah. You know, and, and you can see abuses on both sides of that, 
you know, but I, I think ultimately, sure. mm-hmm. you know, God is a supporter of those who diligently seek him, you know, and as, as you seek mm-hmm. him, you do these things like we're talking about some ways that you can grow in glory is, you know, getting up right. early, spending more intimate time mm-hmm. seeking, for, you know, we could talk about the sea around, but that would be a whole nother, you know, looking with the eyes of your heart, the imagination, and, mm-hmm. you know, listening the voice of God, worshiping, reading books, mm-hmm. so touch and base, but, you know, like you said, you know, we both, you know, went to different conferences, and I think there's a time and season that the Lord wants us to get trained to honor the people and, and to see how they step out and see what they care and, and grow mm-hmm. under them, and there's time and season for the Lord wants you deep into, mm-hmm. the, you know, and, and mm-hmm. cultivate saying, you know, I will not be moved until, you know, you tell me to get up. You know, don't you think right. that that's a rarity now? Mm-hmm. Know? And that's why, you know, God's not looking for superstars. Yeah, He's yeah. looking for the for the whosoever's and who, who will say yes. You know, I always tell people, um, I'm not here because I'm the most gifted or the most talented or the best speaker. Not at all. But I, I have said yes. I've given him my whole heart. He's had it. You know, there, there'll be times when, um, this is for somebody, but there'll be times when, you know, God, there'll be that, that mark in your life where he's going to ask you to die to yourself. He's going to ask you to have it all. And when he, when he has it all, you know, you are not your own. You know, you are the Lord, especially as a prophet. You know, you're not your own. And there's gonna, there'll be different seasons that where God will ask you once again, do I have all of you? And you have to kind of die to self. You know, there's different seasons of that, but you know, the measure of your yes will determine the measure of what you walk in, uh, you know, of the glory. And so, really, it's it's your heart posture. You know, it's not just about gifting, or you know, your gifting has an anointing too, but to truly walk in the miraculous, it, it depends on your surrender. Yeah, amen. I think, I think there's no formula to it, you know. <laughs> formula, and it's really, you know, it's honoring God, it's honoring Jesus Christ, and it's honoring Holy Spirit. You know, mm-hmm. right? Say, all right, Holy Spirit, sink or swim. I'm all in. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna right? Call. Amen. Like you there's said, no, you there's know, no turning back. You know, there's, there's no, no it's back. all or nothing. Yeah. Like you said, I just, I had a dream where I was just crying, and I felt the Holy Spirit's heart, and it was just miracles. That's all I was. Just, all I could do was cry because you, mm-hmm. you, it's not about a platform. It's not about you know this or mm-hmm. that presence of God and it's about the mm-hmm. children of God who are hurting you mm-hmm. know and mm-hmm. we have a, a mandate as somebody that right. you know, almost a mandate of somebody that can access the glory to help the children of God mm-hmm. <laughs> you know Right, and when and God's been putting Isaiah, you know, sixty on my heart in this season, and this is really for the body. But you know, it's time to arise and shine. And I just did a blog about it today. But to arise and shine, you know, it's our time to shine. It's time to come out of that place of oppression, depression, um, the dark seasons, and you know, the glory. It says, you know, the glory of the Lord has risen upon you in verse one. And even though there's darkness, you know, his glory, his brilliance will be seen upon. It's time for the people of God to be marked, you know, with his glory and to carry that. And when we carry, you know, his glory, it, clear, you know, it carries influence and it causes the nations to be drawn to. You don't have to, to do anything. You know, as you walk in that, you know, doors open and, you know, leaders and, you know, it says kings will be drawn to, will, will be asking for you. And, you know, wealth, you know, everything that you need, you know, the, the glory draws yeah, you know, for that you don't have to make it happen. So when you just seek after Him, um, all, you know all the rest will come. But this is really a word for you know the body of Christ. It's time, you know, and it says in Habakkuk that you know the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will cover Amen. you know the earth like the water. You know, just you know more and more. If you're tired of hearing about the glory, <laughs> sorry Jump about your luck. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear a whole lot more about it. You know, because yeah. we're gonna experience a dimension that. There's not word, you know, it's that, you know, no eye has seen, no ear has, you know, heard, you know, when, when we're praying that in the spirit, that's why, you know, we're, we're praying in the spirit and then we're releasing that into the earth. You know, we're going to step into things that we don't have, uh, a, you know, a grid for, we've not seen, yeah, a miracle, you know, miracles that we don't even have the capacity 
you know, right now to really, um, and so just, you know, don't get complacent, you know, the thing about, you know, the glory, we can get complacent, we can, we can like, you know, where we're at, but we have to keep pursuing, pursuing, because there's so, you know, there's endless dimensions in God, there is no end, <laughs> you know, to his yeah. glory or, or revelation. And, and that's what I love about the Father is he, he, mm-hmm. he gave us access to Jesus Christ and, mm-hmm. you know, made us a divine partaker. I mean, it doesn't get any better right. than that. We're seated with places with Christ. And like right. you said, you have to, things happen that you have no grid for, you know. That happened mm-hmm. to my husband. He was, he was ministering in Mexico. He had no grid, mm-hmm. but God loved this lady. God loved this right. lady. The Spirit said, you want to lose weight? And my husband got in her face. He was going to get smacked, but he took a risk. You know, right. he, and then, he didn't have a grid for that at the time. And, you know, she ended right. up losing seven inches around her waist, her foot, mm-hmm. you know, um, strong like two inches. She had to buy new shoes. She, she sent the mm-hmm. testimony to him. The husband got the testimony. And it's like... Mm-hmm. You know, in their religious sect, oh my gosh, the supernatural weight loss miracle, but hello, mm-hmm. God knew the desire of her heart. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's basically a loving father, an intimate father. She didn't need a healing. She didn't need, right. you know, um, headache gone or an arm or bandage. Mm-hmm. Where did God, like, like the woman at the well with Jesus, where did God meet her at right. the moment of her need, you know? Right. That's the mm-hmm. living God. It's just it, That story wrecks me every time, and I, you know, that. It's just the love of the Father. It's the glory. Right. You know? That's I right. Yeah. Severe. You, know? you can't. Separate. You can't. Right. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it just amazes me that that's why we wanted to mm-hmm. do this broadcast. We wanted to show you how accessible you can right. access the glory in worship. You can access a, a glory with scripture. You know, go into mm-hmm. the scripture and, and sing it over yourself. I mean, there, there's mm-hmm. so many ways. You know, mm-hmm. the, and people flow in the glory. You know, you, you have some that sing more than others. And, and you know, mm-hmm. it's wired different. And that's where the culture right. comes in. Like, right. Just mm-hmm. Honoring what's on people's life. And, just risk and partnering it. together. Yeah. You know, Jennifer Ives talks about that in her Glory Carrier book. And, you know, Glory uh, Carriers are Risk Takers. And yeah. I remember um, af- after I had that, I read that book. Um, on the way back this last time I had a dream where uh, she came and she gave me a shot in my arm <laughs> it was a shot of faith you know Amen. and so I just prophesy that to you all tonight that God um, that you just even have um, I don't know if I'm moving into this but have dreams of impartation um, tonight that that God is giving you that shot of faith I feel like um, those on here and those watching are hungry you're curious Amen. and that's why you've hopped on here and watching, but God, He's stirring your hunger, and it's time for you to start pursuing after those things because you're gonna, you're called to, you know, walk in His glory, and to carry that. And there's some of you, the Lord's been um, calling you to take a risk, or He's been telling you to do something, and you've been hesitant about it. And so I just prophesy that faith to you tonight, that God, He's uh, giving you that shot of faith in your arm to, because it's gonna have, um, you, you've been feeling the resistance because it's gonna have a big payoff. It's going to have a massive, you know, shift in your life. And so God's not giving you the spirit of fear, but of love, Amen. power, and a sound mind. Yeah. And I know this word's somebody. Um, the Lord's just showing me sacrifice. Glory is sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It's really just sacrificing the time with the Father. And you've desired and, and, and wanted to. So I just declare that that you have the strength to make the practical steps that you say, God, I just want to know you more than sleeping. You know, Mm -hmm. I I just want to pull out my journal and and speak what you have to say to me. And, and Mm -hmm. ask ask the Holy Spirit because he gives us the hidden treasures of darkness. You know, he just gives me the Mm -hmm. hidden treasures of darkness. So I just, I just feel like I need to pray that I just declare over the people watching, we just release the glory and unity. We just Amen. declare mm-hmm. that the hidden treasures of darkness is going to be known to mm-hmm. you. There's an area in the realm of revelation that, you know, it's mm-hmm. not even about the glory just to share a revelation. Some glory encounters, you don't want mm-hmm. to share with anything. Right. So that you would, just, you would just fall in love with the Father. Right. That's what mm-hmm. I just declare. We're watching it. This 
stir your hunger to, to, to realize you have access to mm-hmm. walking. I just keep the Lord keeps bringing it to me. I just declare that migraine headache. I, I just mm. see the Lord getting migraine headaches right now. I just watch that and stress tension off of you mm-hmm. right now. We just hear that the glory is killing that right now. Any mm-hmm. dilation to, to occur, we just declare and call that forth in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Lord. Is anybody is anybody's elbow hurt? I keep saying an elbow in the spirit. Anybody's arm? Yeah. Amen. That's on here. Yeah. Give them a minute to respond. I seen it back to a lower back strain. It looks like they were lifting like a heavy box. Like mm. they were carrying stuff maybe up the steps. So if that's you, just mm-hmm. shout out to us or maybe it's on the replay. Mm-hmm. So just pray into that in case mm-hmm. you're excited to judge the replay. All right, well, Father, I just pray that um, whoever has that issue with their elbow, Father God, God, I just speak um, your glory over it. I speak um, your fire over it right now. God, I just pray that it's being touched right now. Um, I keep hearing the word carpal tunnel. And so, Father, I just pray that you would just touch that carpal tunnel. God, I curse it at the root. I command it to leave their elbow. I command it to leave their body in Jesus' name. And, Father, I just release the fire. I feel the fire. And then, so Father, I just pray, I just release the fire over your people, God, even now, God, even as they're sitting here watching this or the replay, God, that they would just begin to feel the fire of God <laughs> rising in them, Father, even in their hands right now, God, I feel it in my hands. And so, Father, I just release that over them right now in Jesus' name, God, that you're just releasing fresh fire over them. Thank you, Lord. I just see, even see him washing away the spirit of heaviness. Whoa. Amen. Right now mm-hmm. on the name. Jesus, I just release the glory. We just come together in unity. We, I just declare that mm-hmm. spirit of heaven off of you. Um, yeah, every God, heart ache, every pain, mm-hmm. now, all rejection, mm-hmm. wash that mm-hmm. away. Jesus, mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. So if you mm-hmm. start crying, you know, we're just killing your heart. Amen. So I just mm-hmm. see a lot of disappointment. We just see mm-hmm. that disappointment. Just declare it's washed away. Just be refreshed in the glory. All tiredness, Amen. all weariness. Go, mm-hmm. Lord, mm-hmm. just alongside them, just wash mm-hmm. over them. Woo, thank mm-hmm. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Let your power refill and refresh. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Father, I just I break that um, where people have been in that dark season, um, where they've Amen. been walking um, in darkness. The Lord gave me a vision a couple of weeks ago um, that many and I saw a person walking with a lantern. And, but it was, it was really, really dark, and they only had that little lantern giving them just a little bit of light. But, you know, it says in the Bible that the Word of God is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. So many of you have felt like you've just been in the season of darkness, but Jesus has been with you. You know, His Word has been guiding your steps, but you're getting ready to come into an open, you know, spacious place. And, and Father, I just break that, that darkness, God. I just thank you that there's a dawning of a new day that's coming of your people and I just call them forth. I call them to arise out of that place, as, as it says in Isaiah 60, to arise up, that your time has come. It's time to shine, that your light has come in this season. And so, Father, I just release that over your people, God, that there's a dawning of a new day. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Lord. I'm just waiting to mm-hmm. see if there's so, anything else the Lord wants to I just feel the glory building. I'm just saying if there's anything else he wants to do. So thank you, Lord. We just impart to mm-hmm. there's somebody that, that needs your impartation of what we carry right now. Mm-hmm. Lord, bring your seed, freely give, whether it's the scribe mm-hmm. anointing or prophetic anointing, mm-hmm. or anointing, we just impart in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I just feel the, mm-hmm. the, the somebody's got like sciatica. I see the Lord healing sciatica right now. Just the strain, I guess. Maybe it was the same person that was picking up that box. So we just say, be healed. We just command that nerve mm-hmm. to go and create a border. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I also feel led to um, release the word about the angel of promise. I had an encounter with the angel of promise, and that angel is found in Revelation 10. And it's an angel that deals with breaking um, delay, breaking demonic delay. And so I just prophesy that over you 
today that um, in this place of transition, that you're transitioning uh, into that new place, that um, whatever's been held up, whatever the enemy um, has tried to delay in your life, that it's being broken in Jesus' name, that um, the host of heaven, his angels are being released on your behalf, and that you're going to see a quick turnaround. And I even see, um, you know, money coming where it's been delayed and, and, you know, phone calls that you've been, been waiting on and whatever's been held up. Father, I just speak to that right now, and I command the hindrance and the delay to be broken. I ask that you just release that angel right now, in Jesus' name. Hey, Adnan, good to see you on here. That's what I love mm-hmm. about the glory. I was saying hindrance, mm-hmm. but you were already breaking mm-hmm. it. But Amen. that's what God does is, is in unity, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's just allowing his, his, his president and his presence to take the stage. You know, it's all about him. You That's know, right. Just, mm-hmm. You know, I, I know some people on here have, have been so wrecked in the glory that they couldn't get off the ground. You know, it just happens. Mm-hmm. You know, it mm-hmm. just, <laughs> you have to receive <laughs> my sciatica. Praise God. Just, Amen, Kimberly. God, all pain and all spasms go in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I'm just asking the Lord, is there anything else you want to Pray, Holy Spirit. We just honor you. Y'all have any questions before we get off here? As we press in and see if anything else, the Holy Spirit, any more words of knowledge the Lord gives. Thank you, Lord. Thank mm-hmm. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't see any questions coming in. I'm feeling a little drunk now. <laughs> I know. I feel fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just feel it on my face. <laughs> I, 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 I love interviewing people, and it, it's such an mm-hmm. honor. You know, I, I love you and doing minister with you mm-hmm. and stuff. And, and you know, I, I love walking and and growing with other glory carriers because it's like iron mm-hmm. sharpens iron. You mm-hmm. know, and, and there's strength in numbers. Mm-hmm. So I want right. to thank you for, com- for coming on and sharing your experience mm-hmm. with the glory and and just Amen. I love it. And people right. And, I love when, you know, and it's really, it's really important to, um, you know, pray who you align with, you know, when I met April, you know, it's funny, I met her at a conference, but I didn't really talk to her after, until after the conference, the Lord highlighted her to me, because um, she walks in a different, you know, we're seers, but she walks differently in, in a realm that I was not really walking in, and there are some things I think that, you know, I walked in that she wasn't in as much, but as we got connected, you know, we kind of began to step in into those realms as we, we kind of, help Amen. each other in that way. And so don't be afraid to partner with, with people, people. Um, that don't look like you or don't necessarily walk totally in the way um, that you do because God's trying to open up something new in your life um, that you can walk into. Amen. And there's such value in, in, in mm-hmm. talking to other glory carriers and spurring each other on and seeking the Lord together because we are brothers and sisters, you know? Right. I think mm-hmm. you know, that sometimes we are truly brothers and sisters and we're in the mm-hmm. same family and right and and just celebrate each other's um victory Vic- you know? victories yep mm-hmm. and one of our brothers is in pain or our sisters you know to, to feel their pain and and just go before mm-hmm. throne and, and just to lift right. people up you know mm-hmm. prophesy to people what you see in the glory you know i know right. that's a whole other topic but you know mm-hmm. sometimes it's about calling out the gold and watching somebody transform because, you know, mm-hmm. I know it's happening and all back up, but there's a transformation that takes place in your heart that only comes mm-hmm. from, you know. Amen. That's right. It, it's just mm-hmm. no words, right? <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> no words because, you know, mm-hmm. he loves you that much, you know. Amen. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> We just want you to know that you can access the glory anytime, any hour, any second that mm-hmm. you want to. It's just one right. choice. It's focusing mm-hmm. on the Father, putting your face before him like a flint. You know, mm-hmm. and if you've had trouble doing it, just put some worship music on. You know, that, that's a quick way to, to just bring the access. Right. We just mm-hmm. want to share our hearts. You know, I know you love to equip, and I love to equip, and you equip your church. Mm-hmm basis and I clip through webinars because that's the way the Lord told me to and then I'll go and speak itinerary um, minister spoke mm-hmm. things just, we, we have a heart to equip so I just want people to know mm-hmm. that that's the glory 
And um, mm-hmm. how cool is it to celebrate how how people first open up the glory? Like everybody has their unique mm-hmm. glory, and it's so fun their moment. Yep, <laughs> their moment where the where the veils lifted. And they just need right. to love the Father and like, oh my gosh, I right. can experience the love of the Father. It's just so precious right. and innocent. But um, right. I, I guess, I guess we'll, uh, we'll end this and uh, let's just impart the okay. glory again because it's building so heavy. I just <laughs> We'll just do it, do it with Amen. you, do it in unity. So we're, Lord, we just Amen. bless everybody watching. Yes, we Lord. Thank you for Father. We honor your presence. We love the Holy mm-hmm. Spirit. And we ask that you just touch, let this, let this atmosphere that we're both feeling just fill their houses. Mm-hmm. Just refresh them tonight, yes, Lord. even as they eat, just, just break off the night terrors right now in the glory. Mm-hmm. And just give them mm-hmm. heavenly dreams, like, like we were talking about yes, earlier. Lord. Just, just let them have destiny dreams and breakthrough mm-hmm. dreams. Give us your testimonies. If you have something awesome after tonight, to just share about your breakthrough. Mm-hmm. Amen. Father, I just release, uh, I just release physical manifestations of your glory, God, in their houses and, and wherever they're at. I just really feel like God wants to build your faith. And for anybody who's been doubting, the Lord's really going to make himself known to you. Amen. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, we love you guys. Right. Um, love you. Bless you. Yeah, if you, if you feel uh, led to sow seeds, totally up to you. Um, and Madeline or we'll post our our um ooh, man I'm just a little drunk on the glory right now. We'll post our PayPal uh, no pressure, just never wanna Amen. get off of here without giving the, the people the opportunity to, to sow what God wants to do in your life because so and never mm-hmm. not the person you're giving to you. Right. It's about mm-hmm. the reap and the harvest, you know. Amen. So mm-hmm. we just we just bless you guys and Yes. Declare that you're growing in the glory. Amen, amen. Amen. (laughs) Bye. Bye. And everybody, that is another glory story for you. So I would just like to challenge you on the different things that you heard my guest talk about on the glory today to just get alone with God and ask him to help you cultivate his presence in your everyday life and see what kind of glory story that God wants you to be a part of.